This bridge was built in 1845 and is the third oldest covered bridge existing in the state of Indiana. C.W. Bishop uh, was the builder of this bridge. He only built one other bridge in Indiana. That kind of makes this bridge unique because um, this is one of his only bridges that he built. The primary reason of a covered bridge is to support the truss work, the timbers, from rot due to rain and weather and snow. Indiana had approximately 660 covered bridges. Today we have 90. When they were designed in 1845, it was just horse and buggy and wagons. And then they had to adapt to vehicular traffic. This has a lot to do with the fact that the, the bridges started disappearing because they couldn't handle the major traffic from vehicles. It is unique in its design that you'll see this is a queen post design. It makes it very unique because it's the only queen post truss bridge in Indiana. Most of our bridges in the state are Howl truss or Burr arch truss. So this is a very unusual and unique and it makes it stand out. This is what we call the center post of the bridge. This is the primary point of the support of the bridge where the main sag would occur due to a heavy load. Down here, these are called our lower cords. And at the very top, you have uh, an upper cord, which would basically be the span between the two farthest diagonals. These are uh, tension rods that they adjust to adjust the tension of the deck, of the support of the deck. These are called shoe joints here, where the trusses come down. Uh, there's a metal plate here that the, the diagonals rest in. And then they're tied together with these rods. worked on the foundation right down there, that middle section there. I helped build that. It was brought in in fairly good shape, but uh, we did not ever replace anything in here except some of the siding in here was replaced. The timbers in here, if I remember right, the undercarriage was white oak, and white oak is impervious to water. But the, the guy that refurbished the bridge here, he's used tulip, which is the state tree of Indiana, for the undercarriage. The floor is all tulip. I'm just tickled to death that they preserved it. I know that when we, when I was here, we did our best to take the money that, that we were given to keep it repaired, keep a roof on it. And uh, I know that if we didn't do that, it would not be in good shape. I personally am, am very glad that the staff today takes, will take care of it forever and ever. Preserving these structures is very important because there are very few remaining. If this were to fade away, my great-grandchildren, they might not have the opportunity to even see a covered bridge if it wasn't for the societies and communities like Terre Haute and the Vigo County Parks Department in putting money and the effort into restoring these bridges. We do it for future generations to enjoy and explore.